What's up Cloud Gamers, welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today we're going to be testing out two games that have just arrived the past two days on Xbox Cloud Gaming. First up we're going to dive into Hades and then we're going to take a little look at Art of Rally. Now you may already be aware that I was extremely excited for Hades. This is going to be my first time playing it, can't wait to jump in, let's see what it's all about. As you see here I am in the Xbox PC app on Windows. We're going to click our Cloud Gaming tab and as you see we're going to jump up here. I have booted up both the games here just to make sure that they started up etc. Everything's fine, this is an insider only situation right now so I wanted to make sure that they were at least starting before we began the video. So let's get into Hades, let's hit play. And I should say as well, having not played this game, I sort of know what to expect. I've seen it over the years, it won at multiple awards. Every man and a dog was raving about this game. I'm also using my new Design Labs Xbox controller as well. Perfect day that it just arrived today, thankfully. And we are just about in. Now I believe that this game is running on the Series X Blades. <laughs> Okay, volume adjusted. I believe this is running the Series X plays just because of how quick that it's loaded in here. So let's jump in, let's check out what the latency etc is like. And we'll take a quick look at the settings. I do not believe we're going to have any visual settings options for this one. Which, as you see here, we are not. Subtitles are on. Definitely not going to be playing God Mode the first time through. Straight away the music is brilliant, I love it. Moving through the menus, latency wise, sometimes can be a bit of pain on the cloud game. The cloud gaming from Xbox, not today which is good. So no visual settings, I wouldn't think we would need it for a game like this, so let's just dive right in and get on with it. Few tales are told of Hades whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. So for anyone that's not aware, Hades is the god of death, and that's what this game's all about. Every time you die, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. So a hack and slash isometric view that you see here, it's right up my alley, and for some reason I have never tried it before. So, moving around straight away, Absolutely love this new controller, man. Um, superb. Okay, so moving around is fine. The right thumbstick, you can't move around the view. You're stuck with this view right now. So, I've got X as a light attack. We can combo those up. Fantastic. Pick up, yeah, Y is, it? y is the heavy attack. I should have a raised attack as well. Yep, B is the raised attack. And I won't have one raised attack, so I have to pick that up before we, we crack on. You can destroy it. Everything in this game. Look, oof. whoops. Just redecorate before we go in, eh? I don't think I'm, I'm not getting anything out of that. Okay, let's crack on through the first door. The right bumper is going to proceed us through. Ideal. This game looks absolutely stunning, man. I am so happy I am playing this right now. Destroy the vases in case there's anything there. Oh, hello, big guy. A dodges. Dodge at the right time, give a big whoompa, whoompa, whoompa. Get out of here. Oh, here comes his wee mates. Hi guys. Bye guys. Dush, dush, dush. Oh god, I took a hit there. Took a hit. I got too cocky. I got too cocky. Hi guys. Are these are wee shooters. Are these are wee shooters. I've seen these buggers before. They are. They're the shooters. Come here. That's that one down. Oh. Dodgy, dodgy. Oh my god, I am in full control right now, by the way. Absolute full control. Oi. Stop shooting stuff at me. Come here, you. Get back here. You guys could probably hear me button bashing. I do apologise. Oh man, this game is so good. Oh, you're not dead yet. You're dead now. Oh, what's this we're getting now? I'll accept. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. In the name of Hades, I have accepted. What do I get? 
cousin. Now, let's get you. Oh, hello, Athena. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. So the Olympus gods are trying to help you escape from here as the story see I know a lot about this game for someone that's never played it I have watched so many people play it so we're getting a wee buffer here what are we going for a divine strike turn foes attacks back against them that's kind of cool oh I think we'll take that we'll take the dash attack I know you can't hear me all the way so right while I'm dodging I'm still going to damage superb thank you very much Athena let's crack on here we go again Pull those candles out. Oh, that's a wee trap. Watch, look. Ah, spikes. Nice. Oi. Get out of here. Oh, son of a... Alright, big man. Boof, boof, boof. Sit down. Who's this over here throwing stuff at me? Oh, God. I took a, took a hit there. That was bad. Hi, big man. How you doing? Good night. Oh. Uh, nice, nice combos in this. Oops, oh, I've lost just about half my health already. Who's that shooting this stuff over here? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, what's that? Oh, gain 10 jewels. I'll take that. Hopefully we can trade them in later for something nice. So, troops, this is absolutely beautiful. Feeling-wise, I am in full control, which cannot be said for every game on... Xbox Cloud Gaming recently, but it seems after the Series X updates. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, oh well. More we'll fool you. And you can't fall off the edge, which is ideal. Oh, deflected that one right back at them there. Take some of that dog. Dodge over the traps. Hi. You're running away to get your ass over here, boy. See, once you get the hang of this man, oh. Such a smooth game, but I don't want to die though. I really don't want to die. Oh, come on, there we go. I know the beginning's easy, okay? But I'm loving it. So, this is going to be an upgrade for the ranged weapon, I believe. Nice. This is feeling smooth. Look, it's looking fantastic as well. If you enjoy this style of art in your games. Through we go, folks. Through we go. Hi, big man. Me luck. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, damn, son, you're getting your ass beat down. Oh, shit, I spoke this in. Come on. Hey, hey. What I got here? It has its own reward. Okay, so I don't know what that reward is. That seems to be some sort of exclamation mark, but that looks like health. And I have two out of 50 remaining. I think we're going to go through here. Where's my health? Oh god, I'm dead already. I'm dead already. That was tragic. Damn it. At least you know what happens when you die now, folks. I'm home. We return to the house of Hades when we die. Use a mirror to go stronger. Let's see. Night and darkness guide me. There we go, this is where we turn in our, our gems. I don't know exactly what they're called yet. Mirror of the Night. Within the infinite dark thing. So those gems we picked up we can use here. I only have two options available because I only have 20 gems. So let's just upgrade the two. Your Shadow Presence there. Deals bonus attacks and special damage. And this one restores health. When you exit a chamber, smashing, dashing. That's exactly what I need. Okay. So, folks, before we move on to Art of Rally, Final Worlds in Hades on Xbox Cloud Gaming, as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's everything I expected it to be. The latency is on point. Sort of unknown whether you're feeling a bit during combat or whether it's just myself mistiming because I am not perfect at the games and sometimes we do make those mistakes which you would think would make me dislike roguelike games but look, you see you moving around I know it's quite an old game as such 
it's not going to use up a lot it's not going to use up a lot of CPU, GPU processing but it's certainly running really smooth there's no sort of discernible screen tearing or stream compression I'm very happy with the performance so far and as you see this is running from the Xbox PC app so let's get on to Art of Rally next ok folks, Art of Rally back at our home screen here still on the Xbox PC app let's put it up and as you can see this is my first time playing via Xbox I have played this game before quite a while ago racing games, roguelike games are my sort of thing they are probably two of my favourite genres of game I do remember playing Art of Rally, I don't think I personally liked it too much but what we're really doing here is just checking out the performance on Xbox so that you can see exactly what it's like so straight away you see it's loading in extremely quickly very happy with that ok I don't think we're getting anything right now it's not seemed to be picking up my controller inputs for some reason oh no ok here we are yes who are you? Yes, I am here, monkey. So there's a wee glitch in the matrix there. Do you know what's really annoying me here, guys? I might edit this out. But why are these countries' names not capitalised? That is extremely, extremely annoying. Okay, this looks more familiar now. Stability assist. As an avid racing fan, Racing game fan, that's going right down, and so is that. But we'll leave the gears on automatic. So straight in, we're picking up a car, the SKV1, or the Mini. That's a Mini. That kind of looks like a Porsche. Let's take this one. Nice wee spray noises. Nice music there. There's a new free roam in this game, actually, I believe, which never used to be there. Okay, we're off skis. Here we go. Let's see what the latency feels like. Nice. I am. Oh, crashed it. It crashed it. There's a cone away. Let's get a wee bit of practice in, shall we? Get a feel for the controls. Oh. Get some handbrake turns on the go. <laughs> we'll need to get used to that. We'll need to get used to that again. Okay, where do we go from here? I like the view style, the view style is quite nice. Paint job. Oh, what? Oh, we got a wee achievement for getting the paint job done. I now seem to be blue. Um, oh, we can wash our car as well. That's kind of cool. Nice and clean. Easy achievements. So where do we go for some races then, focus? Where do we go for some races? Because this is all new, this free roam area. No, I don't want to take pictures. Okay, so I just wasted all that time driving around the free roam area to find that the events. You have to come out of that and go to the main menu. This looks exactly like I remember now. So, we have a custom rally which we can create on our own various locations to choose from, various amounts of stages as well, AI difficulty can all be changed too as with the damage level but let's jump into the career give you a wee idea of what that is going to be like there we go we got a wee bit of a story and now we're in we're in the group twos here we go we're just going to skip that we're going to just crack on with the first Career event 2 is we'll leave the AI difficulty on normal, we'll leave the damage level on default. We're going to keep our little Italian horse there. And we'll load in and see how we do. I'll make a fool of myself. So the free roam latency wise and control was really good. The test is always during the main events as they say. Let's see how it goes. Beautiful art style though, absolutely beautiful. No, it's not super realistic, it's not supposed to be. I think you sort of either love or hate this style of 
a style of game. And we're off skis, here we go, foot to the floor. Spectators, watch yourselves. I'm cutting corners, I'm cutting corners. Oh, this way. Move! Silly peeps. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Overshot that there, didn't we? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch the hay bales, watch the hay bales. Try not to look at that timer. That would have been a great drift if I'd held it on the track. I don't see we're getting any penalties for going off track, so... Oh, big jump there. Just the resolution's changed now. Certainly not. Ooh. Watch it, watch it. Ah, damn it. I'm wedged. I'm wedged. Takes a bit of getting used to this, so it does. It takes a bit of getting used to it over the edge. Thank God for that tree. There we go, there we go. So realistic in the fact that when I just hammer down the accelerator, I can't steer, which is exactly how the old front wheel group rally cars would have been. Once you get one that's nice, so and you get around the corner, oh, just too much, just too much, ah, too much power. It's a pleasant little game, we'll cut that corner, don't worry. We'll cut that corner. The stages don't seem to be too short either, which is nice. Which is nice, I'm about halfway through, nearly two minutes in, obviously. A bit more practice, you could go quicker. No, don't fall over the edge. Ooh, so close. So close. So the latency is still good, but as you see coming through here, the, the stream quality is massively downgrading. There's a lot of pixelation there. So I'm definitely noticing it more in this style of game. So I am, although I am looking for it while testing a game. I could use that as an excuse for being bad at the game, but I shall not. I definitely shall not. Oh, oh. <laughs> the back end loves kicking out in this game, so it does. Those are tricky corners. It looks like it would be a really easy game. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. There we go. Oh, 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 a lot of correction. Needs to be a lot of correction. Obviously, you could make the game a lot funner for yourself, just upping that stability control. Upping the ABS so that you aren't locking up at the end. Full throw over the line, 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Okay, folks, not a bad game. The new free roam area is, is quite nice for a bit of practice, so you could tweak the car setups if you want to go in so deep the stream quality there as you've seen when we were pushing it is just sort of dropping off so it is there's a lot of pixelation the good thing is though is we're keeping my frames the latency is still down so the next move for xbox is keeping up that resolution quality as well as keeping the frames and keeping the latency down to its very very minimum Overall, these two games have been well received on my part. Definitely going to be playing a lot more of Hades. Definitely going to be playing a lot more of that. That's going to go on the mobile with me when commuting to work. Any other questions about the games, folks? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about both games, if you have had a go yet or not. Remember to keep up to date with all of our social channels for the latest cloud gaming news, tech reviews, comparisons and gameplay just like this one. Until next time then folks, stay safe and keep on gaming.